Hello everyone and welcome again to another Teacher Joseph podcast. And today we are talking about the chimpanzee which used to accompany Michael Jackson on his tours. I'm not sure if you remember, but there was a chimpanzee, an ape, which used to go everywhere with Michael Jackson. Yeah, it was his pet. Uh, He used to have this diamond glove. It was black with diamonds in it, which he used to wear when he was holding bubbles. That was the name of the chimpanzee. Even at the height of his fame, Michael Jackson had this monkey with him. Uh, He used to travel the world, of course, on tour, um, Michael Jackson, because he was very, very famous. And uh, I think Bubbles appeared on a couple of Michael's music videos as well. Um, It was, I suppose, the era when musicians did strange things, but carrying a chimpanzee around the world with you has to be one of the strangest. Um, As far as I know, uh, Bubbles and Michael had a kind of falling out, and so Bubbles decided to stay at home rather than travel um, he was born, and this is Bubbles I'm talking about, not Michael. Bubbles was born in 1983. There's a lot of different stories as to how he ended up becoming Michael's pet. Um, but one of the more believable stories is that Michael bought him from a Hollywood animal trainer for $65,000. Oh, Michael and Bubbles were inseparable for a while. I remember uh, seeing Bubbles and Michael on TV. Uh, They lived together, of course, uh, in Michael's home uh, in Los Angeles before they moved to Neverland. And uh, apparently they shared a bedroom. Mm. Yeah, uh, I'm sure it was all perfectly respectable. And uh, Bubbles is known to have enjoyed Michael's cinema. And uh, uh, Michael even taught Bubbles how to do the moonwalk. (laughs) Bizarre, isn't it? Um, Before and during Michael's global tour in 87, his friendship with Bubbles was becoming uh, a little bit controversial Um, because I think people were wondering why this monkey was so close to him. Uh, Apparently, when he was in Japan, uh, they were living in a hotel room together, and they were drinking tea together with the mayor of Osaka, Yasushi Oshima. Apologies to Japanese people if I I mispronounce the name. Uh... When he went to Sweden, and here as well, Bubbles couldn't join Michael uh, because there were very strict quarantine laws about bringing monkeys in. Um, And there was a promotional party uh, with Elizabeth Taylor as well at one point here in the UK, uh, where Bubbles was the life and soul of the party, so he must have got him in here eventually. Um, Bubbles' presence in the music studio caused a lot of problems as well when he decided to kind of, like, explode. Um, And a lot of people really didn't like Bubbles. Uh, Apparently, uh, after Bubbles uh, was seen together with Kenny Rogers, uh, he was acting in a very human way that people were a bit concerned, (laughs) this monkey with Kenny Rogers. Uh, And as he got older and bigger, it became a bit of a logistical nightmare trying to move him. Um, He became very pugnacious, and there were rumours that Bubbles was being abused. Uh, And I I think that's something which didn't help Michael's reputation. Uh, One of the world's 
top experts on chimpanzees uh, gave a, a speech that she thought Bubbles was being physically mistreated. Um, she apparently went to visit Bubbles and he was upset at her. The story I remember about Bubbles is that after Michael Jackson's death, uh, Bubbles uh, was being kept, I think, in a facility, some kind of animal home. And I think it was Janet Jackson or Latoya Jackson went to see Bubbles, and Bubbles attacked them. <laughs> I thought that was a, a very nice story. Um, yeah, so... Uh, Bubbles grew up to being 12 stone. I have no idea what that is in kilograms, okay? You know, I don't do the metric system well. 12 stone? Oh, no, I don't know what that would be, but I'm guessing it would be heavy. I mean, 12 stone would be the weight of a teenage child, maybe a child who's 10 or 11, who isn't living in the UK or America because all of our children are fat. Um, so he was... 12 stone and uh, Michael fearing for the safety of his son, Prince Michael II. Oh, I forgot he had children. Yeah, he, he had surrogate children, didn't he? Um, honestly, I lose track of everything Michael Jackson did, uh, but having kids was one of them, yeah. So fearing for the safety of the newborn boy, Bubbles was moved out to... Uh, the ranch of a California trainer in 2003. By the way, Bubbles is still alive. <laughs> it's funny, Michael has been dead for years, and probably half of the Jacksons are dead as well. Actually, no, Janet isn't, Latoya isn't. I think the parents have probably gone. Uh, but anyway, uh, Bubbles is 39 now, and he's doing very well. Uh, he was moved to a center for great apes in Wachula, Florida. <laughs> Florida where we all go to die, really. Um, and he has a relaxing routine where he enjoys painting and listening to the flute. Ooh, it sounds like my cat. My cat enjoys eating and listening to the flute. Um, Bubba's life hasn't been without problems, however. Uh, the monkey, I'm not sure if I should call him a monkey, with well, the ape tried to commit suicide in 2003 after he was moved uh, away from the baby. And Bubbles, well, he clearly missed Michael. And they parted ways. That just means that they left each other. Um, Bubbles, Bubbles hasn't been told about Michael's death, um, but he definitely did miss him. And uh, chimpanzees are very intelligent, so I think Bubbles would probably know. I mean, if he's 39 at this point, he must have known that... Michael would have been older. I'm not sure how old Michael Jackson would have been now, but if all of the rest of them were still alive, I mean the Jacksons, I suppose Michael would still be around now as well, wouldn't he? Well, he was a bit strange, wasn't he? I mean, a beautiful musician, but very odd, huh? And why did he look like Liz Taylor? That's another question that needs to be answered. So, anyway... um. The Michael Jackson estate has supported the annual care costs for Bubbles since the singer's death. 39. I mean, some of us don't reach age 39. Uh, yeah, poor Bubbles. But uh, if you Google him, you'll see lots of pictures of Michael and Bubbles together. <laughs> A little bit strange, but uh, no stranger than anything else that happens in show business, I suppose. Um, so that's it for me today. Uh, Bubbles and Michael Jackson. So I hope you found this interesting. And don't worry, Bubbles is still alive. I have an image in my mind of this chimpanzee playing Michael Jackson records. <laughs> Strange, isn't it? Have a nice day. Bye-bye.